Hello everyone and welcome to my first video in a very, very, very long time. Today we're going to be going back to the CSGO loadout series with a white slash silver CSGO loadout. For our first weapon, the Glock 18, we've got the Ironwork, which is one of our chief weapons. We've got a silver design with simple patterns, and if you've got more money and you want to get a better option, we've got the Franklin and the Wasteland Rebel, which are more edging towards white if you prefer that. For our first counter-terrorist pistol, we've got the USPS Stainless. Uh, this is just a nice cheap option, once again very simple design with just a straight up silver palette and then for another option we've got the Road Rush which has sort of green and black tints on the side. For our other counter terrorist pistol, the P2000, we've got the only real option here, we've got the P2000 Silver which is literally in the name so this one's pretty simple. Now we move on to the P250 where there's quite a few options here but I've gone for the Franklin because I'm pretty sure it's the cheapest um, and the other options we've got the Asimov, the Cartel and the Whiteout. All of these options are actually pretty good. Whiteout is definitely good if you're going for silver, but in factory new, which is obviously when it looks the best, it's just very expensive, which is why I've gone for the Franklin. Now I've got the dual broaders and I've gone for the stained, which is quite a cheap option, but it doesn't exactly look awesome. So another option is going to be the dueling dragons, which isn't exactly silver or white, but it has a little bit of tint here and there. Now I've got the 5.7, which has some nice options here, but I'm going to go for the Kami because it's got that more white looking to it. We've also got two options in the Scumbria, which is a much cheaper option. We've got Antonized Gun Metal if you want to go for a silver, but that's going to set you back a bit more. Now I've got the Run and Gun Machine, the Tech 9. I've gone for a pretty simple option here, the Bamboo Forest. It's got nice white, it's got a bit of tints of green, which I love because it's my favourite colour. And for another option, we've got the Hades, which is your more silver looking gun if you want to go for that. Next up, we've got Best Dress, also known as the CZ Tuxedo. Um, it's just a classy looking gun. It's got Tuxedo in the name, can't go really wrong. Another option, we've got the twist and the imprint for alternatives. Now we move to the R8, where well, we've got two options here. We've got the Memento, which is the one that I've chosen. We've also got the Grip. Both of them don't really have full palettes of silver or white, so it doesn't really matter which one you choose here. They're going to be pretty similar. Moving on to the Desert Eagle, I've decided to go for the Mecha Industries, maybe in controversy, but I've only gone for it because the price is a bit lower. And obviously, you've got your Pinstream, which is really nice, and it's your more higher looking skin. And you've got the Hypnotic and your Heirloom if you're going to go for a more silver looking approach. We're on to our first rifle, the AK-47, where we've got three, once again, really nice options. We've got the Vulcan, the Hydroponic as your most expensive, and the Asimov. I've gone for the Vulcan simply because I think I went for the Asimov in the orange loadout, so we're just going to mix up a bit. Moving on to the M4, we've got the Magnesium and the Asimov. The Magnesium is just a really nice looking skin, and it's really cheap, so I'm going to have to highlight that one here. We've also got the Asimov, which if you want to go for all the Asimovs, you can get a nice sort of collection going on, so you got two pretty good options. Obviously, up next, we've got the m 1 s I've gone for the Mecha Industries over the Prince Stream once again. Um, I've already said this, but both skins are pretty nice. The Prince Stream is just more expensive, so I've gone for the Mecha Industries. You can get whichever one you want, though. Now we have our first one in a while with only one option. We've gone for the FAMAS with the Mecha Industries. We've already had two Mecha Industries previously in the list, so this is just going to be our third one to add to that. Moving over to the Terrorist Secondary Assault Rifle, we've got the Galil AR with the Tuxedo once again. If you're going to say the Tuxedo, then I definitely recommend getting this as you've got the nice combo. And as a secondary option, we've got the Galil AR Eco, which even though it has grain, I've still decided to go for the Tuxedo. Now we're moving on to our first scoped rifle where we've got the Org Arctic Wolf. This is the only option for the Org, however I think it's a pretty good one because this is one of my favourite skins in the whole list. We go from one of my favourite skins in the whole list to my least favourite skin in the whole list. We've got the SG553 Damascus Steel. There's not much to say about it, it's just a silver looking gun and it's your only option. Moving on to our first semi-auto sniper, we've got our SCAR 20 and we've gone for the Cyrex. Although there's not much white on it and there's no silver, it's our only option with either of those colours, so we're just going to have to deal with it. Now onto the G3, I believe we've got our cheaper skin in the whole list, and also not even a bad looking one. We've got the Polar Camo, which is, is a grey skin, however it doesn't look too bad for that, so it's actually a pretty good option and it's your only one. Now I've got the SSG or the Scout. Uh, I've gone for the Ghost Crusader over the Detour here. They're both nice options. You can't really go wrong no matter which one you choose. Next up we've got the Orp, where surprisingly there's only actually two options for white skins when you're looking at the Orp, and I've gone for the Worm God over the Asimov. This is simply because the Worm God's just a lot cheaper than the Asimov, but they're, once again, they're both nice options. Now we're into our first SMG. We've got the MAC-10 Silver. Um, it's been chosen over the Whitefish because the Whitefish is simply just not an interesting skin, although it's... If you like it, then fair enough, you can pick it, but I've gone for the silver here. Now, when we're talking about the MP5, being CSGO's newest gun, it only has a few skins in the game, so this one has the most wide on it out of all the MP5 skins, and that is the Kitbash. Now, for the MP7, I've gone for the much cheaper option, the Armour Core, because the white out is obviously, like a P250, it's a very nice white skin, but it's just very expensive if you want to get it in a good wear, so I've gone for the Armour Core here. Now onto the MP9, where there's once again two really nice options here. I've gone for the MP9 Airlock, although the MP9 Hypnotic is a really nice choice if you've gone for the Desert Eagle Hypnotic as well. 
Now onto the PP Bison, where both options are pretty low tier skins. We've got the Bamboo Print and the Facility Sketch. Yeah, there's nothing really special about either of these skins, but they both have white on them, so have a choice here. Moving swiftly onto the P90, there's two nice options here once again. I've gone for the P90 Death Grip, which is probably the more forgotten skin out of the two, which is, has a nice hand design. And then obviously you've got the Asimov, and if you're going to get the Asimov, you may as well try and get all of them, so feel free to do that. Once again, we have another Arctic Wolf skin, except this time it's on the UMP. Uh, like the Org, this is one of my favourite skins. It's just really nice designs and nice simple stuff, so this skin is going to be your best option. Now for the Mag 7, I've picked the silver, however there is another option in the Swag 7, which isn't the main colour, isn't silver or white, but it still has a bit of it, so if you want to get the Swag 7, which is probably a nicer skin, then feel free to do that. Now I've got the Nova, where I've got two skins which are pretty similar, I've got the Exo and the Rising Skull. The Exo has got a bit of purple hints here and there, and the Rising Skull is just, uh, it's not exactly white, so I don't want to put it as the main skin. So yeah, that's what we've got here. Now for the sword off, this is a different one because once again this is the only skin for the sword off with any white on it pretty much, where the main colour is somewhat white. So there's only really one option here and it's the Wasteland Princess which is a nice skin at least. Now we go to a skin very similar to the Tuxedo skins, we've got the XM Black Tie. It's honestly very similar to the Tuxedo skins but I don't know why it's not named Tuxedo but you know, it serves the same purpose. Now the most expensive gun in the game, we've got the M249 Spectre. Um, yeah, once again, this is one of the only skins with white on it, and you know, it's definitely the main colour, so at least there's that. Now we've got our last gun, we've got the Negev. I've gone for the prototype as the main weapon because the back half of it is pretty much all white, but then we've also got the Dazzle, which I guess you'd say exactly half the gun is white, but the rest is blue, so I decided that the prototype I'd choose. Well, that's going to be it, guys. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, feel free to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.